social media marketing clients and he now has no idea what type of ads to create and I told him that there's four things that he needs to take into consideration when creating Facebook ads number one is take into consideration the customer avatar okay so who are you actually creating the ad for second thing you need to know is your hook so what is actually going to bring in that audience you know make that audience engage with the content view the content watch it click on it whatever okay so we've got the avatar we've got the hook and the third one is the copy so the language you are speaking to your customer audience okay you need to take into consideration how you talk to that audience you know use slang or use like words or language that, that only your target audience knows and understands why because you can create more of a bond with that audience or with that person or consumer then you know if you're just saying random words that aren't necessarily relevant to that target audience okay so we've got the avatar we've got the hook we've got the language and the last one is obviously the visuals the creative Okay, so you need to have content that, you know, makes the target audience or target consumer want to watch and engage with it, okay? So I understand this is all a bit airy fairy so I'll quickly show you some examples. Uh, we are going to go to Facebook ad library, and for those of you that do not know what that is, basically because of the whole Facebook privacy scandal thing, uh, Facebook needs to bring more transparency uh, into his ads, uh, so it's actually giving us, um, you know, the users of Facebook, um, the ability to actually view what type of ads are being run by what type of company. Okay, so if you go to Facebook ad library, you can literally just search by any name, topic or organization and see what type of ads they are running. Okay, let me just click this away. So in terms of the first thing you need to take into consideration, it is obviously the avatar and um, a great example of someone who really understands his avatar is obviously Russell Brunson. Let me just click on his name here. Double S, double L, yeah, that's the right one. So um, basically he's got a ton of different advertisements. So let me just quickly go through them all here um, and find one that shows my um, example best. Yeah, for example, so this one, um, he mentions funnels, he mentions your next step after OFA. Now, if you are not a fan of Russell Brunson or if you don't really know his content, anything like that, you will not know that OFA stands for one funnel away. Okay, so he speaks to his customer audience or his target audience in a certain way that only people that are genuinely interested in funnels and marketing, etc., understand and know. We'll get into the language path uh, later on, but that is a good example of using your, you know, customer avatar to your advantage. Another one here, you know, dot com secrets. He's explaining uh, about his book, which is the front end of his funnel. So what he does is he draws um, cold traffic in. You know, people that are searching for. Generic marketing terms. He shows us ads about his free book, which is .com Secrets. He says you only pay shipping. Uh, so that is how he gets you in. Once you've read his book, you've realized that he is an authority figure uh, in terms of online marketing. And then obviously, you know, he tries to get you up his value ladder. So obviously, uh, people that have read .com Secrets will see this ad and then they will resonate with it because they know what .com Secrets is about. Here's another one, the One Funnel Away Challenge. You know, if you do not, if you're not part of his audience, you do not know what One Funnel Away means. So again, a great example of using your custom avatar to your advantage. Okay, so the second one is obviously your hook. So you need to uh, be able to drag people in right away. Um, I think Starbucks do a very good job at that. Let me just quickly go to Starbucks, USA. Um, let me just find one here. So for example, this one, uh, this is a video. It says, where will your cup take you? Okay, so uh, this immediately makes you curious you know you want to know what the video is about you want to click on the video you can see leaves so you know you automatically get this vibe of okay i'm going to be on the beach somewhere you know you, you know you want to know what's going on so you click on it so that is a great uh, hook to get people to watch the ad another one here a site for small eyes now if you're not a fan of starbucks or if you don't know what's going on then you will not know that they are bringing out a new s'mores flavored frappuccino okay so again they're using their customer audience they're speaking in a certain language which we'll get to in a minute you know to make sure that we um target that target audience and then they're using a very powerful sentence you know to make you understand what is going on they're using emojis so again that is quite a good 
Um, add, let me just do something else. Okay, so we've added Russell Brunson, we've added Starbucks. What else shall we do? Uh, let me just type in steak. What comes up? Outback Steakhouse. I think I've done an example on that in a previous video. Uh, but again, great uh, use of a hook. Powerful sentence. Your Wednesday dinner plans are right here. And they're using that for a walkabout Wednesday offer. Don't know what it is. Never heard of it, but apparently that's a thing with Outback Steakhouse. So again, you know, I'm not part of the target audience because it's a US-based steakhouse. So I don't know what walkabout Wednesday is, but if you're from the US and you know you know about Outback Steakhouse, then you probably know what that is. So you know that is a great way of them using their customer avatar. So another one, here they go: steak, check, fries, check, Coca Cola, check. Enjoy your workout Wednesday starting at eleven dollars. Okay, a great hook. Why? Because they're showing you they're showing you that you don't need not need not anything else. You know you don't need to look anywhere else because they have got everything you need for you know for your Wednesday dinner. You can go there. You've got a nice juicy steak. You've got chips and you've got uh, a Coca Cola or a, a nice beer. Um, I'm not sure that you can uh, promote the beer actively, so they've said Coca Cola. So that is a good uh, use of a hook as well. Great thing with hook or a tip that I always use is to ask questions okay a question is a great way to get people you know to suck people in and to get them to either comment engage or actually you know look at um or view the ad okay so we've got the avatar we've had the um the hook now we need to talk about the language so how are you going to talk to your customer audience and i think i've showed this in a previous video as well for example um uh, and chandon so obviously that is a bit more upper class, you know. It's it's a bit an ex, it's an expen, expensive uh, champagne. So they're gonna speak in a certain way to get people that drink Moet and Chandon understand and resonate with. So as you can see here, we invite you to to venture down into the depths of our cellars to uncover the exceptional heritage and the production secrets of Moet and Chandon. Okay, so like people that aren't part of their target audience probably don't speak like that but people that are do so that is a great way of using language to you know distinguish themselves from other brands okay another great example is well click funnels to be honest so back to russell brunson um obviously click funnels they have this you know their own little language um for example let me just find one um so again just even the word funnel two comma club you know, things like that uh, are words and sentences and phrases that only people that are using ClickFunnels understand and know. So if you are not part of their target audience, then you might not understand what Two Comma Club uh, or Two Comma Club winner is. Okay, so we've had the avatar, we've had the hook, we've had the language. The last one you need to look at is the creative, okay? So the, the image or the video or whatever you're using for the ad. That needs to be enticing and it needs to, again, resonate with your target audience. So a great one uh, or a company that does a really good job with that is Red Bull. So when you think of Red Bull, you know, their target audience or the whole brand message that try and spread is it's got everything to do with you know uh, living life on the edge going that extra mile uh, extreme sports you know doing what other perceive as impossible so all their ads all their uh, creatives are obviously you know they've got to do with uh, extreme sports so as you can see here red bull uk using extreme sports let me just pause that or the sound turn the sound off so using extreme sports to promote red bull with one ear Extreme sports again, you know, skydiving, paragliding, you name it, they're doing it. So again, you know, using creative to really show that brand message off. Okay, so that is all I've got for today. Just take those four things into consideration and you will nail the ads for your clients or for yourself, for your personal brand. So again, the hook, the avatar, the creative and the language. Take those four things into your ads Split test them, obviously, you know, make sure you do get that lowest cost per click and, you know, your ads will be absolutely smashing in, okay? Like the video if you got something out of it, comment down below. If you've got any more questions on Facebook ads, subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.